All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Once again, we're here with another Infinity home, and this is going to be one of their Brookstones, and we are in the Brookstone... Bra Brownstones? Brownstone, Brookstone, Brookstone, Brownstone, down in Peters Township. It's one of Infinity's uh, neighborhoods. We're going to be checking out this end unit townhome behind me. It's a two, I'm sorry, three bed, two full baths, two half baths, 2,615 square feet, four levels, two car garage with a beautiful loft space you got to check out. All right, guys, I'm going to flip this camera around and let's get started on the tour right now. All right, guys, as we take a look from the outside, you can see it is four levels, four stories. It has a loft that you have to see up top. We're going to start here on the bottom level, and this is one of their model homes by Infinities. This is their Brookstone model, and this is a spec home. It is for sale right now. You can get this one. It's at 429 Magnolia um, down in Peters Township. So you got Peters Township School District, two-car garage entered on the outside, beautiful bricks, brickwork, nice entry door right here, steel entry door. Step right into a, a little bit of an entryway and you can go up the stairs and into the kitchen or up the stairs, down the stairs. You'll see that in a second where you can see the office. We're going to take immediate right into the two car garage. So you could step right in here. You could drive right in and walk right through that door right there. And that's going to be your office or lot or another extra flex space. You could make it whatever you want. The left is your entry door. You could use this kind of as your mudroom, I guess, inside here. Uh, right now, we have a two-door uh, little storage area plus your, your furnace. So you're going to see another um, utility room up on the fourth floor. So you got a lot of room in here. Once again, this is a spec home by Infinity. This is the uh, Brookstone. I'm sorry, Brownstone. I keep saying Brookstone. It's the Brownstone uh, model floor plan. And this is a little bit wider than the uh, other townhomes that I've seen, the Brooklyn that I've seen with them up in Freeport Green. So we're going to go in back inside the entryway here to the main door. Going to go up these beautiful oak stairs. As you see, they got oak, a nice light colored oak. And before we head up into that gorgeous kitchen up there on the first floor, we're going to go back downstairs the other side so you can see what they have set up as an office. And I think it's a, a great idea if you're working from home, you could have this as your office, plenty of space. You could actually have quite a, uh, a nice meeting room in here for your office. That little entryway, so you could go, you could bypass even people going into your entryway and come straight through the garage into your office right here. So this is that door that goes out to your two car garage right there that we were looking for, looking at before. And off to your left as you walk in, this door is going to be a, just a coat closet. So a nice size coat closet. And these, uh, these ceilings in the basement actually are nine feet down here. And you got carpeted. You could have this as a bedroom. You could have this as a little bar. You could have this as a, you know, a little, another little TV room, man cave, woman cave, whatever you want to make of it here. You have a nice size closet. Plenty of room in here. They even shoved their copy machine in here. That's how much room they have. So you have your, your egress, you have a, a, an escape route out there with your ladder. So you could actually have this. You could have somebody down here for sure. Nice and cool down here, by the way. You'll see uh, all the bedrooms, they're gonna have carpeting. We'll go back up these oak, oak steps to the landing here. We're gonna go up into this absolutely gorgeous living space, the first floor living space is going to have a beautiful open concept as i trip going up these stairs look at the size of this island guys you got four spaced out chairs at your gorgeous quartz island four feet wide i'm going to say this is about 12 feet long right here really gorgeous cabinets underneath along with your microwave underneath how much how, how bad do you guys like that I love having my microwave out of the way and not up on top of the counter or hanging above the oven. So just absolutely gorgeous. If I can get my camera to, to pan around a little bit there. Look at the size of that island. That is easily about 12 feet long. Beautiful pendant lights hanging down above the island. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. White cabinets with a chrome nickel finish or a chrome finish on the handles. You got your dishwasher, quartz cabinets, go, or quartz uh, countertops going all the way around. 
really nice backsplash. It looks kind of weathered. It's really, really nice there. There's a look at the cabinets. And that's like a nickel finish. Faucet, sink, really deep single bowl sink. Undercount mounting. LG appliance here, five burner stove. Stove top, very nice uh, stainless hood. And they continued the backsplash all the way up in between the cabinets, awesome job. So I take this time and actually thank Infinity for letting me come in here and, uh, and take these beautiful videos for you guys so you can explore, see what they have to offer. I haven't been down south. This is uh, Peters Township. I keep doing everything up north up by me in Cranberry Township. But this is south, uh, south of Pittsburgh, southwest of the Pittsburgh a little bit. Double ovens. And these are all LG appliances. Ca or the cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling, 10 foot ceilings in here. Wait, ah, about a nine foot ceiling, sorry. Nine foot ceiling in here, LG, kit, uh, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> LG refrigerator. Uh, it was a sharp microwave behind me that almost bit me in the butt. Really gorgeous floors. Nice wide plank flooring. I like how they set it up, this, uh, this spec home. We got a little, little bar area here. Living space, look at how much room we have in this. It's only 2,615 square feet, but it seems a lot bigger. I swear I was just in a 3,000 square foot home and it seemed a lot smaller than this. You do have a little balcony out front here. So they really, really made use and in infinity once again with all the windows they put in their homes it makes everything just have so much natural light so you do have a little balcony out there a little juliet balcony almost it goes the whole way across your garage let's just step out there get the door open and it does have glass or plexiglass so you have a little space out here, come out here and have a little bit of coffee. Lock that guy up. And to the left is gonna be a half bath and another closet. So here's your half bath. There's two half baths, two full baths. So there's like a pedestal sink in here. <clears throat> in this half bath. Nice, spacious, got its own window, has its own fan. Continued the flooring throughout this floor, uh, the same flooring. Just a nice storage closet. And of course, uh, one of my clients, Rob, you would appreciate this. You always love seeing this. The coax cable and the and the power cable or power uh, outlet, electrical outlet inside the closets. All right, just another look at this. Look at that, how much space is here? You have a full dining room area over here to keep it separate from the living room. A lot of times I keep seeing uh, home builders put them all kind of in the same, like kind of scrunched together a little bit. So this is nice to see that you have your own kind of pocket area for your dining area, but it's still all open but you're not on top of each other. If somebody wants to be over there watching TV and you want to be over here having dinner, having a cocktail, playing some games at your table, you're not really bothering each other. And they have recessed lighting throughout. There's tons of recessed lighting, plus all the windows they have in here really bring in so, uh, some natural light. You have a really nice patio out here, especially for a townhome. This is an end unit, so you only have, you have one patio next to you. So you have a really nice space. You can put a nice uh, what canopy out here or something to give you some sun, some sunshade. Look at the back, and you're really going to like that rooftop up there. We'll get there in a second, well, a couple minutes. I'm gonna take a couple minutes. All the bedrooms are gonna be on the second level that we're gonna go up to right now. So we got the basement uh, as one level, counted that as one level, uh, the basement and garage entry. 
This would be level two, I guess you could say, or the living level. Really nice space. Love the kitchen. Go back up. They're continuing with the oak flooring all the way up to the second level here. And it's nice tall ceilings all the way, even in this landing area, they're, they're nine feet. We're gonna walk up onto the bedroom levels. So we got immediately met with a hallway closet, double door, that is gonna be your laundry. It's got a laundry pan and a hookup for an electric dryer, along with the, uh, Uh, along with the air duct for the, uh, for the dryer to go outside. Now we're going to go into the first bedroom. This is a three bed. So here's bedroom number one, not a walk-in closet, but a really nice size closet. Right now they got a mattress stuck in it. So you can see pretty spacious. Looks like about six feet or so wide. Two windows, one really large window. I really don't need the lights turned on, but I turned the lights on anyway, just to give you kind of an effect here. Carpet throughout all the bedrooms. You got the standard height doorways. And before we go in this full bath for the hallway, we'll hit bedroom number two. Two enormous windows this time, instead of one and one, you got two enormous windows. Look at all this light lighting in here into this front, be uh, front bedroom facing the street on Magnolia. Nice and quiet back here too, by the way. It's a new development for them. About the same size closet as the other one, as the first bedroom. Got textured ceilings. I don't know if I said that. Some textured ceilings up there. I see sprinkler systems. I see smoke alarms. Windows or uh, lights off as I go. So we're walking into the first full bath. There's two full baths on this level and it's a different kind of tile. This has a little, has a little, uh, not texture to it, but just a little design in it rather than just having flat uh, ceramic. Nice cabinet, single bowl sink. It's like a quartz countertop with me, one huge mirror. Obviously your toilet, you got a tub shower combo. And instead of a sliding door, they just have it hooked up for a uh, curtain. And you have a little linen closet inside the bathroom, stack all your tiles. And the tile continued all the way through this bathroom. Head back out to the hallway. We're gonna make a right. We're gonna go see, as I hit the dang fan as I'm walking out, we are going to go see the, the primary, the master bedroom in this, uh, of this brownstone right now is absolutely gorgeous. So immediately as we walk in to the right, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna to go to the right and we're gonna see the first walk-in closet. And I say first because there are not one, but there are two walk-in closets. Looks like it's about 10 feet deep by about six feet or maybe five and a half feet. Gives you a little bit of an idea of how large the closet is. Nice size for a townhome, especially, right, guys? And this townhome is well-priced. Uh, probably not what you think uh, compared to, like, the Brooklyn and whatnot. But, man, I tell you what, I love the space, how it feels. The Brooklyn was much bigger, I think. I think it was over three, but nice size bed. That's a king-size bed, and you have your second walk-in closet right here. So it's not quite as deep. Maybe by a couple feet less, about same width. Looks like about eight feet, maybe. Eight feet deep, or eight feet wide, I guess, by like four feet, four and a half feet deep. But two nice size windows, very tall, all the way up, look like about five foot windows. Actually, this might be six foot windows. And we are going to head in. Now that is definitely a king size bed, so that gives you a little bit of an idea of the size of the room. You got like three feet on each side of the bed. 
and we'll head right into this beautiful, I love the, uh, the herringbone style that they did for the tile. Nice curb that they did in the shower. This is gonna be a frameless shower and the hinges are gonna swing both ways. You can push the, the, the door in or pull it out. And they continued on the back wall of this shower with a herringbone, love it. And then they have regular tile stacked. Same color, same scheme, color scheme. Got a couple little shelves in here, actually four shelves. And they went with Kohler fixtures with the uh, chrome finish on them. And all the way up, they have the rain. The rain had awesome. And look at that, they actually did, I didn't even notice them when I walked through. They had tile on the ceiling. Love it. Very cool. And of course, they got the small squared, like two by two tile on the floor. Really like these curb, or not the curb, the frameless shower showers man it really opens it up makes it feel like so much bigger nice two bowl sink quartz countertop Kohler fixtures under mount sinks nice cabinets nothing no bold colors in this one or anything like that so you're gonna have kind of neutral colors which are pretty nice and that's just obviously your toilet closet your water closet I turn the light on, fan comes on automatically. No window in this one, but that's okay. Just got its own fan and light up there. And I like the lights that they use. Obviously above, they continued the whole way this time with, instead of, uh, instead of making a bronze and all these different ones that continued with the uh, stainless or the, I'm sorry, the chrome finishes on these. On the uh, fixtures, along with the uh, handles as well, on the cabinets. Look at the light coming. A beautiful day here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, guys. If you're looking to make that move to Pittsburgh, buy, sell, relocate. You're coming to Pittsburgh, hit me up, send me a message, and we'll get on a phone call so we can see if we're a right fit for each other. We are going to go up and I'm going to hit this one last level. And this is the loft. This is probably one of my favorite parts of this, of this whole townhome. We're going to continue up again with the oak flooring, the oak steps. You got the oak banister railing with the iron mixed in with black iron. Really nice job into a beautiful open concept loft, open concept loft. I'm not sure if that's even a thing, but I just said it and look at all the light up here. You got sliding double door, double door flanked by really nice size windows that go pretty much floor to ceiling. Plus two more smaller windows. And behind me, before we get out to that patio, let's see what we got here. We got another half bath. So this is the second half bath. Obviously the powder room, you got your sink, got your toilet. And then here's the other storage area. Like I said, there was another utility, utility room. So this is utilities plus lots and lots of storage. It's all gonna be nice and warm and cozy in here because of the insulation. You also have your tankless water, water heater and your power box, your electric box. You got some gas lines running in here. Really nice job with what this, what the, what they uh, had to work with here. 2,600 square feet. I am just, it doesn't feel like 2,600 square feet when you're walking it. All right, let's go outside and check out this beautiful patio. This rooftop patio that we're on now. It is hot as heck out here today in Pittsburgh. It's like, I don't know, hot as heck. It might be like 85. I don't even know right now. Yeah, it's 85 degrees. So you do have a... Um, uh, water spigot out here, hang out, and there is a look over the railing down to your other patio, outdoor living space, so you have tons and tons of room out here to have some friends over, hang out, have a drink, watch the stars, watch the fireworks, whatever. Nice little area back here, you can get some shade under the roof. And that is 
the fourth level. That was probably my favorite part. I know that's where uh, I know that's where I would be. Would be outside on that patio pretty much all the time. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate your comments and, and your criticisms and your critiques and all that as well. I just want to thank Infinity once again for allowing me to go into their model homes, their spec homes, and bring them to you guys, the viewers. If you have any questions at all, reach out to me. If you're looking to buy, sell, relocate, invest in Western Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh in general, give me a call. Give me a give me a text message. Send me an email. Shoot me a phone call. Whatever it is, and we can hook up on a Zoom call or just on the phone. Uh, Zoom call is preferred. That way we can see each other's face, put a put a face to the name, that uh, sort of thing, and help make this this move as nice and smooth as you possibly can for something if you're relocating especially i know what it's like i moved from los angeles six years ago to back to pittsburgh and even knowing pittsburgh it was still a difficult situation it was not easy i needed a lot of help from people i had to reach out to to help uh, find a home for me uh, as i was moving back so i know what it's like i've been there uh, so that's it guys if you have any other questions reach out to me or leave a comment below until next time guys thanks for watching keep it real estate